asking us um, to determine if the angle AEB is congruent to the angle DEC. So the first thing we need to do is identify those two angles. So AEB, A to E to B, is this angle, all right? Then D to E to C is this angle. So then we need to determine, are these angles congruent or are they not? Well, I know they, they kind of extended this ray, but if I was to extend this here, I would create a line. And if I extended a ray here, I would create a line. And therefore, if I just extended those lines, which is perfectly fine, right? Right now, they're just two rays. But if I extend them to make them lines, we can see that we have the intersection of two lines. And these two angles share a vertex, but do not share a side, right? Dennis, do you remember what we call two angles that are formed by intersecting angles that share a vertex, but do not share a side? Kim, do you remember? Elizabeth, do you remember? Vertical. vertical angles, exactly. And are vertical angles equal? Do you remember, Elizabeth? Yes, they are. So yes, these are congruent because they're vertical. All right, remember always, we're always interested in not just saying, oh, yes, they're yes or no. It's not a 50-50 shot. It's yes because they're vertical. You have to get yourself trained to always define your answer. Why are they equal? Because they're vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are always equal in measure. And vertical angles come from, the, um, from two lines.